Welcome back to Miss Manda Still's How To. Today we'll be drawing and learning about the Russian tortoise. We'll follow us step by step while learning some awesome facts. I pre-drew templates so that you can follow along easily. Step one, sketch a little oval shape for the head and a larger oval rock-like shape that is flatter on the bottom for the turtle's body. Your first fun fact, the Russian tortoise can be found in the wild from Kazakhstan to Pakistan. Step two, draw a small circle for the position of the eye and then draw a line that starts slightly above the head and curves down towards the end of on the right. This will determine where the top of the shell will start. Sketch a few lines representing the legs in a walking position. Your next fun fact is that Russian tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. Step three, draw more details to define the head and the wrinkly neck and add a few sharp nails at the ends of the feet. The tortoise scales are divided into three groups of shapes. I bet you didn't know that the top of the tortoise shell is called a carapace and the bottom is called a plastron. Step four, press harder with your pencil as you refine your final lines. Use the image as a reference for shell details. Tortoises are only active for a small portion of the year, generally spring and summer months, during which time it forages in a variety of habitats. Step 5. Suggest the scaly skin on the head and legs by drawing a series of irregular shapes. Add a few more wrinkles around the eye area and neck. Add more lines to the shell by drawing another set of sh shapes inside the ones you already drew. These tortoises are really popular pets, especially since they are calm creatures, so they are great for children. Step six. Once you are happy with your final drawing, start coloring in with a layer of green or light brown. Russian tortoises are great diggers and they love to disappear underground. Step seven, if you're painting, let your first color dry and then add dimension to the drawing by painting the shaped areas with a darker green or brown. Here's our last fun fact. A tortoise can hold its breath for a long period. It exhales all the air in its lungs before it can go into its shell. Step eight, your final step. Add one more final layer of brown color to the scales, the head, and the feet, and paint a thick outline on the scales on the shell to give them more contrast. With a dark brown color, paint a few more wrinkles on the face and neck.
Great job, you completed the Russian tortoise. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned something along the way.